Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It has been a while since I was able to record new videos, but now I am back again and with at least one new video each week. In today's video, I want to showcase a new feature that has been released inside of UChat. For this video, I want to show you how you can turn your chatbot into a complete ticketing system. So this is a really, really cool feature and will help you manage all your tickets or let your business or your client manage all the support tickets. The feature is called boards and with boards, you are able basically to create your own kind of mini CRM inside of your chatbot overview directly for your bot users. And again, as mentioned, you can do this for a lot of use cases. You could create your own sales pipeline, bring in new leads from one column, scheduling a meeting, then go towards an offer or a proposal and then have one final column where you closed or lost the lead, right? But in this video, I want to show you how you can build your own ticketing system directly inside of UChat, inside of your chatbot. So first things first, how do you find the boards feature? You will already see me inside the section itself, but basically what you need to do is you need to log into any of your chatbots. And then you will have the boards feature pretty much in the middle of the left-hand menu. From here, you can create your first board. So let's call this, uh, for example, ticketing system. And then we can add columns. So these columns uh, basically allow you to move users between several stages of this board section, right? So for a ticketing system, you pretty much have three columns, like an open status, where a ticket is being received. Then we have a pending status where the ticket is being addressed by a customer support agent, right? And then last but not least, we also have the finish status. So let's create these three columns. Let's go with add a column and let's say open. Then let's go with a column, let's say pending. And then a final column, let's say done. And this is pretty much it. Nothing more is needed. We can just manage it as is. Um, now, if you created the columns in the wrong order, you can basically just hover over the arrows on the left hand side and you can just drag them to the correct position if you need to. But I will leave them as is. And if we save it, you will see that the columns have been created. We have zero in the open, pending and done sections. If we press the three dots, you will be able to customize the name or even delete the column if necessary. From the right hand side, you will also be able to include a new column if you need it. Uh, I believe one board is allowed to up to 15 columns maximum. So keep that in mind when creating your boards, but I think having 15 columns is more than enough to create any kind of use case, right? But for this ticketing system, open, pending, done is pretty much the thing that we need. So how does this work? If we take a look, we can do this in several ways. For example, we could go inside of a flow. And if we say inside of a flow, let's say this is a support flow. Let's say create a flow. And then the first step could be there where we can ask a question, right? So we could say something like, then we are going to save this towards a, a custom field. So save response towards, let's say the question custom field. And then from here, we can just do a simple confirmation. From the send message, we are going with a text. Okay, got it. Um, and then we could say something like, now what we can also do and just realize this, we can also create ticket IDs, right? So to give the user a ticket ID, so, when a user does not get a reply or wants an update on the ticket, they can mention a ticket ID. So what we could do is we can go towards the contents, bot fields, and from here, let's create a simple ticket ID. And let's make this a number type. There we go. And then we can go inside the flow again. And basically, let's say we're going to implement one step here. I'm going to increase the ticket score, the ticket ID by one, right? So what we 
can do here is go with a set variable and we're going to search by ID. Let's go with ticket ID. We're going just going to add an additional, uh, basically an additional ticket, uh, increase it by one. So we are going to search for that ticket ID again and we're going to say one. Say, and then what we can do here is we can also say something like for your reference your ticket id is and then we can give a hashtag sign which is a uh, form of an icon for number right and then we can basically pull in the ticket id here the next step would be to add the user towards a board, right? So where we can go is the action step. Inside this action step, we can go to move the user towards a board. And from here, we can select a board. At this moment, we only have the ticketing system board and we can move the user towards the open status. We can also leave a note. So we could say something like um, user had the following question and then we can basically pull in the question that we saved inside that question block and that was with the question custom field and that we can save as a note we can also go for the note type so if there is any colors integrated uh, for example if we want to show high and uh, high priority status we could also go with a danger right so what we could do is uh, put the note type to danger and it will turn the note into a red format. So if I press save and leave this as is, let's go and preview this. Let's preview it inside of web so we can just preview it directly here. Let's go and enlarge this a little bit. And then from here, we will get a simple confirmation alert, right? What can we help you with? Let's say, I need help accessing my account. Then, we'll, then the ticket will be increased. And as you can see, it's the first ticket. So the ticket ID will be number one. You can also generate a random number if you want to. But I think having the ticket ID uh, increasing by one also gives you a good idea of the amount of tickets that you receive inside the chatbot itself. Now, if we take a look at the board now, so let's go back to boards. You will still see nothing here. I hope they are going to implement a reload button. But for now, let's just reload the page. And then the user should show up here. So if we take a look now, here we have the user's info. And we also have that danger note, right? So the label was red. And here we have user had the following question. I need help accessing my account. And with these notes, you can also prioritize the tickets that you receive and basically assign them to certain, uh, certain team members, live chat agents. So what you can do here, you can basically go directly inside of that user. You will open the live chat and you can basically communicate with them directly. You can also assign them towards a particular live chat agent. So if you want to do that, you can also do that by pressing the icon. Currently it's unassigned, but you can also basically assign them to, for example, myself. And then you can also switch the status on, of the inbox. Do note that this status, as you can see here, open pending spam and done, is not the same as the board section. So you need to keep that in mind. So for now we could say it's still open, right? Until I respond, I can then set the status to pending. And once done, once my initial answer has been given, I can go inside the board section on the right hand side by pressing the pencil icon. And I can move the, st the status, the user towards a different column. So let's say I want to move them to pending. Also want to change the note. So we could also say update the note. Or we can say now is user gave the information needed and issue has been forwarded to developer waiting for reply. Something like this. We can press save. There we go. 
And now if we take a look at the board again, so if we go back, we'll see that the status has been updated towards pending. And now you'll also see an update, right? So user gave the information needed and has, uh, and the issue has been forwarded towards the developer waiting for reply. Now you can also manually drag, uh, drag tickets towards certain sections from the board itself. But as you can see, this is a really good use case using the boards feature inside of UChat to create your own ticketing system. And especially if you were working with a team, you are easily be, uh, you are easily able to keep track of all the open tickets this way. So if you have any questions, do let me know and I will try to help you out. But for now, I think this is a really cool feature that you can use directly inside of UChat right now to start your own ticketing system. You can even replace ticketing systems like Intercom and stuff like this with this board feature. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already because it will help me out reach more people. For now, have a great day, take care and have a great happy new year.